Hello friends! Right now you can see how this happy family is obtaining their baby's documents. Of course they deserve to spend this moment completely. We are standing now at the US Embassy. It's almost the final stage of their stay here in Ukraine. Uh, right now we're going to pick up the passports for the babies and they're done. We got an uh, email from the embassy and uh, we're really excited about that. I mean, it's been, uh, been a while trying to get that done. Oh, just two weeks for the passport mm -hmm. part, but everything else going up to it, it's mm -hmm. been about what? Uh, we got here 20, 21, mm -hmm. 21. 21 June. So um, it's been a long time trying to get this stuff together. And, um, but we're really excited now for the guys and we can get uh, maybe change our plane ticket and get them home on the next week sometime maybe. We'll see how expensive that is. Otherwise we'll just stay another week. Um, but you want me to talk now about the process, okay? So the process of the passport and, and everything was, it was pretty difficult because we didn't, first off, the, this is the part, the only part that Biotechs didn't do everything and we had to do something so that it didn't go so as good. Everything else that Biotechs did went very well and the one part where we had to do something is a little bit hard, but we got it. And um, so it started with, I guess, uh, what was it? the uh, for, we're speaking for American uh, embassy and, and American passports. I, we don't know about the other countries, but um, you need to have the citizen born abroad, and then the. Um, Miami for 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 the last name change. You see, American yeah. change the last name. So there was a. There's a lot of different parts to this. Um, for the citizen born abroad paperwork application, you, they required a name change from my wife, uh, proof of a name change. And uh, that was done 17 years ago. We, it was through the social security at home and, and that paperwork's gone. And so we weren't able to get that paperwork. Um, so we had to wait to do uh, work with the embassy and get an affidavit and a, an oath of her saying that she had her name changed when she did. It just added days. Everything we had to do added more days, a couple days here, a couple days there, a week for an, uh, uh, the birth certificate for the, the Ukrainian, Kiev Ministry of, uh, I guess, uh, Foreign Affairs, and they had to do the um, the birth certificate, get a postille and a seal done, and uh, that took a whole week. It was something that should have been quicker, I think. And um, there's a lot of that. So, yeah. so if you're ready, if, when you're doing this, you got to make sure that you, when you're planning this, uh, to have uh, well, you don't have to do anything, but we should have done this is a um, flexible ticket. Um, that could change because we ended up having to change our ticket one time it was okay but um, and then be very flexible with the time if you think it's gonna be done in a day or two it could take a week very easily and um, it's bureaucracy it's government it's paperwork and that's just what it is and uh, not everyone is, is uh, not everyone working at the embassy or wherever was um, as hurried as we were they're, they're doing it their time they're doing their pace so Things take a little bit longer, and that's okay. Um, I do think that biotech should have a very uh, detailed uh, sheet on the website or available that they can send to uh, intended parents that has uh, outlining exactly what they're going to need. So it's not just passport and uh, citizen born abroad. It's not just that, but it's all the sub sub parts that they'll need. Um, Example proof of uh, physical proof of uh, being in the uh, the United States. We need five years of that, and we did not have that paperwork coming here, which we could have easily gotten at home. I brought the wrong type of paperwork, and it was uh, property taxes, but they, that was not acceptable. They want to see utility bills, college. I did have my army. I could have brought that. I didn't uh, didn't have that. I, so. But the details, a lot, a lot of subsets, a lot of details that um, we didn't know about until we got here and then we had to shuffle around trying to get it. But we got it, oh, we hope. We're getting the passports right now, I hope. Yeah. And it should be okay, we'll check the names and make sure they're correct. And um, it's a long time. Again, it was 21 June. You have to remind people how the DNA from the United States too. Well, that's part of the thing that, you know, that, yeah. so the DNA tests will be, have, to be the AABB accredited 
um, from America, and they should know that. That's on the website. Um, that takes two to three weeks, uh, they said. And uh, the embassy said it normally takes a week, but the, the, the testing uh, company we went with said two to three weeks, and it got done in a week. But we had to plan the, the plane tickets for three weeks because we didn't want to have to change it again. So um, everything is fluid, and you have to be ready for that. Um, be a little flexible on everything is a good, good way to be instead of uh, having a real strong strict timeline and it's going to be moving and back and forth and maybe you'll be here for an extra two weeks that you didn't plan or maybe you'll have to hurry up i don't know um but hopefully it all boils down to the same thing you're going home with your babies and that's the key right mm -hmm. i think it's very doable i mean the, without some really strange things happening i think you could have this with if biotex took you know yes just just took a little bit of time and put all that together the best they could and then have all the little breakdowns You're like okay we got that we got that we got that a little check the block and then boom 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 and that way you know you're pretty good and then even bring a little bit extra of course on your you know to support the other things but like uh, the marriage certificate there was a thing called an apostille or apostle a seal that says it's authentic I never even knew about that it, and they let me know it's like okay and then I had to go back and talk to the place where we got married and get that done, I would have never known about that thing. So there's a lot of that stuff I had to learn. And, um, right? Yeah. Okay. Especially it's so exciting for you, uh, it's a big step. Oh yeah, this is huge, this is everything. And uh, yeah, this is this is the end, the, 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 the finish line until we get back to America and then the whole thing starts, <laughs> really, I mean. Okay. We won't, you know, there's going to be a lot of paperwork at home too, getting them a doctor at home, getting them in the medical insurance and a lot of stuff, but they'll be good. We'll get that done when we get there. But here, it's very good for doctor. Anytime you talk to you, call the doctor. Yeah, the back. doctor, yeah, everything has been good that way. We already said that. I mean, that's, we know that biotech has been good on everything. Mm -hmm. um, I do wish that, again, that paperwork was the hardest part about this. And of course, biotech took care of everything except. The, 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 and they did most of the paperwork too. Uh, Oxana was running around like crazy trying to get you know the Ministry of uh, Foreign Affairs to do the, the stamps and everything, but she can't do it herself. She can only sit there in line. And um, if they take forever, they take forever. Oh, the embassy is very good, good to work with, the consulate over there, and um, they're very helpful, absolutely. It, it was, uh, yeah, it was definitely nice to, uh, to deal with them. I mean, they really let us know what, they have to, they have to, they don't let you wait, just boom, boom, done. Yeah, 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 and they don't overload their appointments, so you don't, they don't have 80 people in front of you, it's you and maybe another person waiting to be helped, and, and uh, it's hard to get, it's harder to get an appointment, but once you get an appointment, you're going to be helped and taken care of. And they have to do a paperwork also. Absolutely, I didn't know, they showed me, I had to redo uh, a part of the uh, application, and uh, the timeline of, be, of, of being in America, and she told me how to do it, and I did another one. It wasn't hard. And the phone card is a pick up right real quick. Just one phone card, they pick up and talk with you, and they show you right Yeah, a good, good email correspondence, yeah. too. They stayed with us. They let us know that the passport was done today through email today. I saw it. I click. Oh, yeah, it's done. Let's go. And, uh, yeah, the U.S. Embassy is very, very good to work with. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd say it's probably a lot better than the Kiev Ministry of Foreign Affairs. I don't know their status, but I'm just saying getting stuff done, working with the DNA. Oh, they had the doctor with the DNA um, technician and they came by and they waited for us and uh, it was like 5.30 and they waited for us and we got here and uh, got that done that day. And it's all very pretty organized. I mean, as long as as long as long I'm not doing it, it's all pretty organized, yeah, right? Cool. Yeah, they did a good job. So we're gonna go pick up our passports right now, I hope. Okay, so here we are. We got our our son's passports and we got our own passports from before. So now we got uh, our four passports. We're ready to go home. And um, it's been a good visit. It's been a, good, a great visit in, in Kiev, Ukraine. But now it's time to go home and start things over there. And uh, we're looking forward to it. Yeah. 
Yeah. Check the name. Maybe it didn't Yeah, we made sure we checked the double check names and the dates and the birth dates and all. The, everything's in order. Everything's good. Great. Um, we also have with this we have the certificate of uh, citizen born abroad and that's all completed correctly. So uh, we are we're we're ready go. now. Yeah, we're good to go now. I'm smiling. I'm running low on smiling. Okay, good. You're very good. I know I am. Okay. <laughs> oh my God, you. Good, <laughs> <laughs> right. you good? Oh, you have a four passports. Yep, we got four passports. And now, now we gonna hold the car there. Right? Yep. We go home. They keep me happy. They come back to the United States. I know R2 would be ready. Yeah. Thanks, guys. I just can't congratulate them. Have a safe flight, guys. It was a pleasure to have you here and cooperate with you. <laughs>